In the cold, harsh winter of 2005, two struggling artists had a dream. To create a studio where they had the freedom to let their art flourish, where they could create works of towering genius and not have to worry about spilling paint on the good furniture. And so begins the story of Woodstock Street, the glory days. And here we see the budding artist, Pete the Dutchman Johannes Mayhausen, making his first tentative steps, creating a visual language that is to become his trademark. Johannes rapidly progresses to large-scale images of oils on canvas. Shown here, he elegantly explains the inner torment that drives the resulting masterpieces. The strong hand gestures are symbolic of the strength of the vision that inspires his artistic passion. Oh, and, uh, and have nothing at all to do with his growing arthritis. As Vincent van Gogh had Gauguin, so did Johannes have his artistic comrade known as Fritz Kuster. Unfortunately, Fritz is, at best, a gifted amateur, destined to always live in the shadow of the brilliant light cast by Johannes. Handicapped by his lack of talent and a 15-second concentration span, Fritz nonetheless stumbles on, trying desperately to catch the attention of the master, who occasionally provides useful pearls of wisdom such as, perhaps you shouldn't use so much of that masking tape and stencil technique, Fritz. For Johannes and Fritz, the great delight in working together in the studio was to come together at the end of a long day and recount the struggle in seeking to realise their frustrated artistic aspirations. Unfortunately, it usually degenerated into light-hearted banter fueled by cheap booze and cigarettes, and feeling sorry for the unartistic masses trudging up and down Carlisle Street. <laughs> 